messages for Scorpio. What are the messages Scorpio needs to hear today, Spirit? Who is coming towards them? What is this person's intentions? How do they feel? What actions will they be taking? What does Scorpio need to hear today? And if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and comment. Please turn on the notification bell. That way you get notified when I go live or when I post new videos. Probably going to start doing live videos. Also, if you would like a reading, those are only $17 in June. They go up. Um, I also do past on loved one readings. Those are 28. You can connect to somebody who's passed to the other side. So if that's something you're interested in, just email me. Okay, what is Scorpio need here? Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. So you guys could be out celebrating with friends, hanging out. Um, also, I feel like somebody could want to reconcile with you. Yeah, somebody from your past is wanting to come back. This also talks about crossed over loved ones. So you could have somebody who's on the other side who wants to contact you. But this talks about somebody who wants to return. Yeah, you have a soulmate here coming. This is the only night in tarot who can bring a soulmate love. So you have a soulmate coming towards you, Scorpio. This person's waiting on you. You probably already know this person because they've done invested like lots of time and energy into you. So it's just like they're waiting for you. I feel like this person's observing you online. But this also is somebody on the other side who's crossed over that's coming through too. So you could have somebody who's on the other side. Like this is just for a few of you. If some of you are watching and you recently lost a spouse or... A lover um, they want to come through and tell you that they love you that they're waiting for you to cross over and that they're okay okay for others of you um, you guys have somebody who's viewing you online watching you online yeah they want to come back and give you the justice that you deserve so they could have done something to you um, this is also Libra energy They view you as the queen of pentacles. So this person views you as like wife or husband material, very grounded, very stable. Also, like whatever seeds you've planted in the past financially, those are coming into reality. So be expecting your money to greatly increase. Yeah, this person, whoever they are, they're going to message you soon. They want to see you face to face. They might even bring you like a gift. Yeah, just be careful with this person. This person could want to try to hold on to you for financial reasons because they know you're well off. But I also, besides that, I feel like this person's holding on to you for dear life. Like, they feel like they, like, own you and, like, you're not going anywhere. It's like this person's saying, like, you're mine. You belong to me. So, if you think you're going anywhere, in their head, they're like, no, you belong to me. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. See, so you might have walked away from this person, Scorpio. And so now they're like, I don't think so. They're going to come back. But I just, I, I get this like energy of them saying like, you're not going anywhere. You belong to me. So if you think you're going to like just walk away from this person and they're going to go quietly into the night, they won't. This person will not be quiet. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> this person will be right behind you, messaging you, calling you, trying to come see you. Like, this person's not going to go quietly into the night. So, for some of you guys, you're trying to leave a situation or you have left somebody. And they're like, I don't think so. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, because they view you as the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles. Like, they're not playing about you. They feel like you are this golden opportunity. Somebody, whether you're male or female, this person wants to marry you, have kids with you. Um... Or just like they know how important that you are. And they feel like they'll never again in this life find anybody better than you. I told you. This person, is they feel like they have hit the jackpot with you, Scorpio. Like this person's highly obsessed with you. Like they view you in a very high light. They know that you're very abundant. So this person, I just feel like this person, for some of you guys, they... 
they're, they might not be well off. Like maybe they've never had anybody who actually has things in life. And so when they encountered you, they were just like, whoa, this person's like beautiful or handsome. They got their life together because I can see how they view you. They view you as very abundant. So they could try to hold on to you for dear life. Yeah, there's something hidden here. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. So what's hidden is that they're in love with you. Like this person wants to share their life with you. They really do care about you. That's good to see. So they do view you as um, a soulmate. This could be Cancerian energy too. Yeah, this person's trying to work their magic to get with you. So this person will do anything they have to do, manipulate or whatever, just to be with you. Like this person's desire is to just be with you. Like they'll do anything. Also, make sure that you're talking to your ancestors and asking them to help you with finances and with love because you have an ancestor here or somebody who's passed over that wants to help you. Could have even been a really good friend for some of you, but this person on the other side really wants to help you. Um, also, for those of you Scorpios who did some type of um, affirmations or moon magic or something that you did under the eclipse that we had last Sunday... Uh, whatever it is you prayed for or were thinking about at that time, that's going to come into your reality. Yeah, this person views you as their soulmate. We have two soulmate cards. This person's coming back. Whoever this person is, they aren't going anywhere. Wow. They're going to put in the work to make this happen. They also know, like I said, that you're a very hard worker. This person really is aware of who you are um, but they will put in the work also whatever it is that you did under the moon for those of you who did something under the eclipse moon this money is coming into your reality like it's here yeah then we have <laughs> this is your divine counterpart no wonder they they won't let go of you this person is your divine counterpart scorpio we have the emperor and the empress this person Okay, so this is what I'm getting. And this is very strange. I don't get this a lot in readings. <laughs> um, if you guys are dealing with somebody who's not very financially stable right now, like say they're just a page of pinnacles, okay? Um, this person, there's something about you that's going to make this person transform into this emperor. Like this person will actually put in the work to match you. So if they're not an emperor right now, be patient with this person because they will transform into this emperor because they're going to match you. Like they will work. Yeah. This person wants to marry you. This person wants to commit to you, marry you. Yeah. And that's the truth. That is the truth. This person's here for, okay. So when I said something about finances and them holding on to you for finances, don't worry about that. This person's not here for your money. This person's here for love. And they're going to work just as hard as you are. This is a really good reading. Yeah, you are going to be very guarded, though, because you've been through a lot. And that's why you already are paranoid that this person could be here for the wrong reasons. Comes to find out they're here for the right reasons. This person could live at a distance from you, even if it's just 20, 30 minutes away. See, you're very blocked off. Like, you have your heart blocked off. Because you've been hurt. Yeah, you've went through something. You could have just got out of a relationship and this person showed up and you keep trying to leave them and they're like, no, no, nope. Like this person will chase you till the end of the earth. But you are burdened and guarded about something here. This person's very passionate about you. Like very, very passionate about you. Then they want to travel to come see you. They want to start a new cycle with you. Yeah, see, you're burdened by a past heartbreak. And uh, Spirit is trying to get you out of that. They're trying to get you to close out that cycle of your past hurt because they have new for you. Like, Spirit's trying to give you a brand new beginning. Somebody who's going to commit to you. Your finances are also going to increase. This person loves you. Like, this person's here for the right reasons. Yeah, and they want to give you equal give and take. So, 
They're here for the right reasons. They want to put in the work. They want things to be fair and balanced. Like if you're a hard worker, they're going to be a hard worker too. They might not be right now, but give them time. They will. And Spirit's trying to tell you to look at things from a different perspective. And there's this person. They just, you know, see, this is what I was saying. They might be a page, but God is going to turn this person into a king. This person will transform for you because they love you that much. So if that's something you're worried about, don't. Yeah, I can't see your energy. This person wants to travel to where you are. They want to come towards you. Whether they live in town or not, their whole entire um, desire is to just be with you. Like this person wants to do life with you, spend life with you. Um, they are not here to hurt you or deceive you. This is a really good reading. Really, really good reading. Okay, so let me um, pull you an oracle. Spirit, what would you like Scorpio to know? What would you like Scorpio to know? And if, like I said, if you guys would like a personal reading, they're only 17 right now. Next month, they will go up. Um, so if you've never had a reading, just email me. I do them by video, and then you can watch them unlimited. It's a private video, and you can go back a year from now and rewatch it. You can watch it over and over. Oh, my goodness. Scorpio, you guys have met your match here. This person will be loyal to you and only you. Like, their desire is to just be with you. Like, they have no hidden agenda, which is really nice to see. This person is loyal. Whoever this person is. Number 35. Oh, if I can get the page to turn there. <laughs> okay, it says, Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Okay, so if some of you guys are kind of afraid of this relationship... Spirit's just like telling you not to be because this is your person. Like you are divinely protected. And I feel like this person wants to protect you too. Like this person's not playing about you. Like they'll hurt anybody that gets close to you. I can just feel their energy. I feel like you could have already walked away from this person because they might be very intense. Or it's just that you're afraid of being with somebody because you think people are going to hurt you. Um, this person's not going to give up on you. And if you try to walk away, they're going to be right behind you. Like, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> so let me roll you some dice. And if you can, like I said, please like and comment. Because I've been doing readings where the people interact the most. Okay. And right now it's just been Sagittarius's. So I've been, just been doing Sagittarius videos because... Um, I put a lot of time and energy into these videos and if people can't really support me, it's hard for me to keep putting time and energy into signs that aren't really going to support me. Um, and Scorpio, you guys have been really great in the past, but if you can, I mean, just leave any emoji. I don't care what it is. Um, and hit the like button. That way it makes it like, um, get out there more to others. So I don't have to just do Sagittarius videos. <laughs> Okay, so we have Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Sag, Libra, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio. And then here's an angel number. One, seven, one. Because in numerology, there's no 10, so this is a one. So one, seven, one, and then two, one, one, seven. So Google that. Somebody's birthday could also be November 7th, November 2nd, um, January 7th, January 10th, or July 10th, October 11th, February 11th, July 11th, June 2nd, June 1st. So anyway, angel number 1712117. See what comes out. Thank you so much. Have a good one, Scorpio.